welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this quick and easy like grungy purple smoky eye using our basic bitch palette. So if you're interested then keep on watching. Okay so we're just gonna go ahead and get right started. Before we dip into our basic bitch palette I am gonna go into my Naked Heat just to use some of those like translucent colors. So I'm gonna take Chaser here this like nude brown and I'm just gonna dust that over my lid. Even though the Basic Bitch Palette is really cool, I still like a pretty warm crease. So we're gonna make this really rich and warm. I'm gonna take the next shade up that's a bit warmer and still dust this over. I'm taking it all the way from my crease down to my lash line because it just makes it easier to blend everything when we deepen it up. And a big fluffy brush like this. It's very, very easy to blend. My hand is very light. I'm not using a heavy hand. These sides right here get really, really blended. Then I'm gonna take He Devil. That's like when we start entering this chestnut-y color and dust that in my crease. You can already see it just deepened that up already. So this is all prep for the smoky lid. And remember, smoky is a technique. It doesn't necessarily mean black lids. So they're just gonna be darker and kind of more like grungy, but not necessarily black. So I'm pretty happy with these creases. So now I'm just gonna make sure that it's really, really blended. I'm gonna take an actual clean fluffy brush and just blend the edges. But before we get those darker colors, I wanna put some translucent powder under our eye, just in case we have fallout. It'll be easier to sweep it away. So I'm just gonna put some. It's okay if it covers our highlight a little bit, we can always add more. So now we're safe, we're not gonna have any fallout. So now we're gonna dip into our basic bitch palettes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this purple color right here. And it's just kind of like a smaller dome-like blending brush. And I'm gonna put this into the crease. And I'm blending down towards the lid because I want that burnt orange that we used earlier to still show. So I don't want to put it over it. And you can see these colors are merging together really, really nicely. And the reason I'm using a brush like this instead of a flat brush is because I just want the look to be completely like airbrushed in a whole diffused look. I don't really want it like a cut crease. So I want to make sure everything is blended. That's why I'm using this brush. And I'm just packing it on the lid with the tip of it. I'm going straight in like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so now I am gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna dip it into that color and I am gonna spray it a little bit before I pack it on. And then I'm gonna pack this on that lid just to deepen up that color. And it brings out the, the true purple a lot more. And it's damp, you can see the difference. It looks really pretty. And it makes it blend more with our transition shade. That looks so good. I'm gonna take our transition shade one more time and kind of just dust it over a little bit because a little of it got blended away. Just like a little peekaboo of color. Very lightly with the hand. I'm like barely touching my eye. So now we can go ahead and dust away. I'm just gonna use a big brush like this one. Dust away our translucent powder. We're gonna do our lower lash line. There you go, see, no fallout. Isn't that a miracle? Okay, so let's take a detailed brush and we're gonna use this purple shade almost like a liner and line our lower lash line. So take your time, because we need this line real thin. I am gonna have a really smoked out lower lash line, but we're gonna go in layers, okay? Baby steps. Okay, so this is how it looks when you start. Then we're gonna just wipe, just wipe it off like on a paper towel or something. Go back in with that Heat Devil from the Naked Heat palette that we used in our crease. And then make another layer and kind of diffuse that with that shadow liner we created. And for my first time using this palette, I gotta say, 
the blend is pretty good and not a lot of fallout actually no fallout at all so you want to make sure this is connected to the top you don't want any negative space so let's just bring that up a little bit looks so good okay now the fun part we're gonna really deepen that up so there's like a grayish black color in this basic bitch palette and we're gonna add that to our lower lash line to really dust this off because I can't be having black specks in my highlight okay and we're gonna smoke our lower lash line out stay as close to the lash line as you can windshield wiper motions back and forth you can see it's like such a difference and I'm bringing it farther into my inner corner more than I usually do because I really want this to be a grungy look. I'm still gonna add some more highlight, but I want this to be grungy. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take this sparkly shade. It's almost like a sparkly charcoal. And we're gonna put that on our lower lash line. And you may not really be able to see it when you first are looking in the mirror, but this is really gonna show up in pictures. When the light hits you, it's gonna be really pretty. And then we're just gonna take our blending brush and just blend everything together. And then you're pretty much done. Just take your little last minute blends. And this look is so quick and easy. I feel like people are always so scared when they hear the word smoky eye. But like I said, it doesn't mean that you're just putting black all over your lid. I mean, we didn't use black at all. Mainly used purple but it's the same effect. It's just grungy. Everything's blended together. It's obviously darker than like a nude eye, but I still kept it warm. You could always keep it cool, but I think warm colors look better on my skin tone personally. So now we're just gonna add some liner to our waterline. Okay, so I'm just gonna line the waterline on the top and bottom. And I'm using the Urban Decay Zero. Don't poke your eye out. <laughs> so after we're lined, I'm just gonna make sure, I need to brighten this under eye up just a little bit with our translucent powder. I don't wanna add more concealer, but I'm just gonna brighten it up. And I'm also gonna go in with the Here Comes Joy Sheer Highlighting Powder from the Matte Holiday Collection and go over that, what I just did with the translucent, just so it brings that glow back. I'm gonna add that highlight back into my nose. Our little exclamation mark. I'm gonna take the little highlighting blush that comes in the Basic Bitch palette and put this in my inner corner. And then we are ready for lashes and mascara. So I'm gonna pop those on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my mascara and my lashes. I'm just gonna do my lip right now. I'm using the MAC Strip Down Liner. I'm gonna line my entire lip. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our lipstick, Cream de Nude, my favorite. Only in the center. I always do a nude lip when I do a darker eye. I feel like it's just like good dimension in the face, you know? And I'm gonna take my gloss in Below Freezing, which is my favorite right now from the Matte Holiday, and blend these together. Okay, so I just wanna amp this highlight up a little bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that, you know? It, I needed that, don't you think? It has like that pink in it. It's still gold, but that pink little reflex in there. Mm. Oh my gosh, that like completely changed the look. Now let's spray, take a little bath here. And this is the completed look. I really, really like it. I need to look one more time because it's highlight right now. <sighs> yes. And it, you see it how like the highlight looks with like that transition? Mm-hmm, now you see the method to my madness, don't you? With the warmth, yes. I really hope, hope you enjoyed this look. If you're interested in seeing more videos, make sure you are subscribed down below and you're giving me a thumbs up and that little bell you see right there, you know, just, just hit it one time, just one time, okay? That way you'll be notified for every single video that I post, okay? I will see you in my next video. Bye, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,